Hi guys, today we're reviewing the Ford EcoSport. Yes, it's pronounced EcoSport, not EcoSport as the engine that it has the EcoBoost. Interesting factoid, in 2016 when DJ Khalid and Ford launched the vehicle, DJ Khalid used the hashtag on his Snapchat as ECHO Sport, which simply means that Ford then told him that it was EcoSport instead of EcoSport. This was the first time that the North American market had seen the Echo Sport. Not many know, but in, uh, in 2003, the vehicle was launched in Brazil and they manufactured it up until 2012. The second generation, which we know and came to our shores, was in 2013. And South Africa has sold over 45,000 of these models. It just shows how good the, the car is. But now we're looking at the all-new Ford EcoSport, which was launched in June 2018 with the 1.0-litre EcoBoost engine for the manual and automatic in the Trend and Titanium models. And then in November 2018, we had an updated version, well, an addition actually, of a 1.5-litre Ambiente petrol and um, a diesel engine. Today we are looking at the top of the range titanium model. It's a 1 litre EcoBoost engine with a 6 speed automatic transmission. The, the colour that we are looking at is the blue lightning, as they call it. The Trend and titanium models both come in 5 colours, while the Ambiente comes in 4 colours. According to some, there has been about 1,600 to 2,000 changes or new features since the 2013 model that we used to here in South Africa. Let's look at the front of the vehicle. Let's start with the chrome grille. Now the grille is totally different to the previous model. If we look at it at an angle, we could see a mini Everest. Or beefed up Fiesta or even the previous model Cougar but either way that you look at it any way that you look at it in fact it's stunning this new chrome grille we've got the straight bumper as well and we've got a whole new set of headlamps we've got a halogen um, the halogen globes here and we've got the daytime running lights that you can see we've also got a new look on the fog lamps we remember we had the round fog lamps now we've got more triangular with the indicators attached to it as well if we look at the um because of the new look in fact we've got a new hood as well which is slightly rich here and we see it gives it more of a sportier look let's move to the side of the door Here we look at the alloy wheels. The Ambiente comes with a 16 inch steel wheel. The Trend comes with a 16 inch alloy wheel. And here we have the stylish 17 inch alloy wheels on the titanium model. What I like is these mirrors. Two reasons why I like it. The first reason is we've got a puddle lamp there. Now the puddle lamp actually illuminates the area as you get out or get into the car and as you can see I don't like to get my shoes dirty so that is something for me the other interesting thing or rather fun thing that it has that I like about the mirrors is the power folding mirror which is actually only available on the titanium model but it's very cool if you're stuck in a tight spot at the mall and you're worried about getting your mirror dirty or damaged all you do is press one button and the mirrors go in. When you lock your car as well, the mirrors go in. The titanium model also comes standard with these silver roof racks. Let's move to the back. You might have noticed that in the previous, in the 2013 model that South Africa was used to, we had the aerial in the front and it was a bit longer. They've moved it now to the back and made it a little bit shorter, that little beasting aerial that we all love. The Trend and Titanium models 
all come well they all come with the spare wheel but the trend and titanium models come with a cover as well a color coded cover it's a 16 inch steel wheel inside here if we look at the door most think that this chrome uh, is a handle but in fact there's a little button just underneath that helps to open the door the one thing that I needed to get used to was the opening of the swing gate outwards instead of upwards the reason why it would open outwards instead of upwards is obviously because you have quite a heavy wheel on the outside and I don't think most people can manage picking up the wheel all the time so that's why it opens outwards if we look inside there's quite a lot of storage um, space there's up to 333 liters of boot space if we fold the seats down we can add approximately 800 more liters to the boot space we also have a handy what's the seat sir handy adjustable um, shelf which can conceal something underneath and we can get up to 300 kilometers on I mean 300 kgs not kilometers on top under the hood we have the one liter um, EcoBoost engine which is a three cylinder petrol turbo petrol engine the engine actually has won 11 international engine and powertrain of the year awards since its inception in 2012 now that's something amazing the um, engine delivers 92 kilowatts of power with 170 Newton meters of torque with the fuel consumption being approximately 6.3 liters per hundred kilometer it's available in the manual and automatic transmission which is six speed it's time to take a look inside let's start with the rear of the vehicle it's quite comfortable at the back here even for a tallish guy like me who's 1.7 meters tall <laughs> you can see I've got quite a lot of leg room here even though the seat of the driver is quite far back what I also like about sitting behind the driver is not to annoy them but also so that I have a little 12 volt power socket here on the side which I can charge my cell phone or my tablet while I'm on a long journey We've got a little uh, compartment here as well that could hold a magazine or a book as well if you would rather read instead of using a tablet on your journey. And we have quite a lot of space in the back. We've got the ISOFIX here, which is good for your car seats, for your smaller car seats. So that's good for car safety. And you can put the bigger car seat as well for a little toddler like this one. And he has quite a nice view. How's your view from there, Isa? Uh, it's nice. <laughs> now let's take a look at the front seat. Before we get in, we notice that the titanium model has the Eco Sport scuff guard so that's handy in not getting your side so damaged and it also looks nice <laughs> as we step inside we see we've got a cup holder here on the door we've got the electric windows and if you want to like we have a toddler you can lock the back window so that he doesn't open it what I didn't mention is there is the child lock on the doors at the back um, as I showed you before we have the power folding mirrors and then you could also adjust the mirrors manually adjust the mirrors here as well um, then we come into the car and we have a engine start stop which means that it's keyless start that's always something fun to have 
Okay, you'll notice that the door is open, so there is a noise, and it says door is open and vehicle is on. So, in terms of safety, the car's one or the car has got five star full in cap rating for safety. So, there's it there, it shows you on the screen. If we look at the screen, we can see that you have various options on the screen. Here we've got a trip computer. We can move up, we can change settings on the car. Um, we have a device connected, we can change the audio, we can look at navigation, or you just have some favorites, which shows you whatever you would like to have. You've got the temperature, the kilometers until your next fill up, and your how much uh, traveling you've done so far. Okay, if we look at the lamps, what's unique on the titanium model is we've got automatic lamps, which means that once it becomes dark, we have the auto dimming, um, well, actually, the auto lights come on. We can uh, change it where we just have the daytime running lights on, you have your normal lights here, and we also have the leveling. So you could change the leveling of the headlamps outside via this. I don't know if you can hear the noise in the front. And we've got the rear and um, front fog lamps. Okay. We can also change the um, brightness of the screen here, which also affects the... 8 inch touch screen here. Moving to the steering wheel, we have voice control where we could please call Nabiha. Please say your line number or say number those. Number one. I found multiple results. Please say the line number that matches your selection. For example, line two. Number line one. <laughs> Call neighbor have lodges on mobile <laughs> or at work. Okay, so there's many numbers for Nabia and we're not gonna try and call her now because it's but okay, so we'll just cancel that. But as you can see the voice control works. She did understand that I did say Nabiha and she did give me a few options because I have a few numbers for Nabiha. Nabiha, why do you have so many numbers? <laughs> Okay, so that's the voice control. We also have on the steering wheel where you can um, receive a call or decline a call. Uh, we have the volume, which is for the audio volume. We have um, on this side, we looked at the, the uh, center console um, dashboard where we could adjust that. And we have the cruise control, which we can change here the limits and we can set um, how fast we want to go on the cruise control. What we have that the titanium model only has and the other models don't have is the rain sensor. So behind the rearview mirror we actually have a sensor. So if there's any moisture on the um, windscreen it automatically senses and the wipers start working said before it's a six-speed automatic so you can see the automatic there's the park reverse neutral drive and we've got a sport okay. if we put it into sport we can use these paddle shift buttons to increase or decrease the gear that we are in we've got the illuminated vanity mirrors on both sides and we've also got a sunglasses case here. We have seven speakers in the car with two on the doors of the front and passenger's uh, side as well as one on each door at the back and one here in the dashboard. The um, air conditioning is automatic. You can set it onto auto and it says auto blower limit high or we can have it on manual where we can choose the blower speed 
And what's nice about the titanium is we can choose which temperature we want it at. Moving down here, we notice that there is two USB ports. Now for us as a family, we always on the road and we always need to charge our phones because we use it to create content. So it's always handy to have these two ports. We've also got a 12 volt socket here in front, which means that we could essentially um, charge three phones if we wanted to, or we could charge two phones and use the other one for audio. As um, you can see, we've got a USB there. There's quite a lot of storage space besides the 330 liters that we have in the boot. We have two cup holders here. I don't know if I mentioned the cup holders on either side of the uh, back seat as well. And then we've got a storage compartment here with actually an extra storage compartment that you could either put some snacks in, Nabia, or a tablet again. I love the tablet. And then we have our cooled glove box and something that's quite cool underneath is a little secret compartment which Nabia will store more food <laughs> last but very not least <laughs> very not least um, is the 8 inch touch screen now I like the audio because it has the 7 speakers but you need a system to go with it and this 8 inch touch screen not only provides the um, user with showing us the USB device, the navigation and a rear park assist, but it also syncs our devices. Let's first look at the rear park device, rear park assist I should say. So as you can see, if we put it into reverse, it shows us if there is anything behind us. If we move back, there's nothing behind us, so it doesn't um, show us anything. Put it back into park and we can move into navigation. We can choose any destination, so if we were to go to Santon City for example, uh, and we choose it, it says 13 kilometers start navigation and we would get there at quarter past well just after quarter past four it will take us 17 minutes it's while i'm talking it will take us 18 minutes now and well 17 minutes 16 17 and it's 16 kilometers it also shows the um, speed limit so that helps um, so that you don't go over the speed limit because with 92 kilowatts you tend to go a little bit faster than you should be. Okay, you could choose, you could delete the route, you could have multiple point routes, you, there's many options here. You could have the sound on or off, I prefer the sound off, and that's your standard navigation. We have audio as well, you could choose from your AM, your FM, you could choose from a connected device, or you could just use the USB which we are currently using. As I said before, you could connect your devices. Now this phone is connected via Bluetooth. So with the Bluetooth and the Sync 3 that the Ford has on this touch screen, it automatically syncs everything. So it automatically syncs your recent calls, it automatically syncs your contacts. I'm not going to go into either of them because you're going to see who I call the most <laughs> and my contacts. You could change the device or you could essentially go into your text messages. It pulls through everything. You can see Salsi loves to send me messages. You could also make a phone call with the keypad and you could have a do not disturb as well so that while you're driving nobody calls you. Notice that we have uh, mobile apps here as well. And with the Sync 3 that Ford has introduced, we can actually use Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto to sync our devices more than just via Bluetooth. So let's look at it from the Apple version. Okay. So we see Apple CarPlay comes into play and it's already got our maps on there. 
So what it does is it syncs all your favorite apps, I would suppose, your WhatsApp, your audio books, your now playing, messages, maps, music, and your phone book as well. And that's all done through this Ford Sync 3, as we have mentioned. So that is what the overview looks like on the Apple phone. Let's look at the Android. Okay, let's see how the Android is. Okay. We're just going to allow everything to sync on the app. And let's get set up. Okay, and Sync is trying to initialize Android Auto. Please check the device. Okay, and we see that Nokia 6 connected successfully. Okay, so here again we can see. Okay, we can go through this, but we rather just skip it because Google likes to... Okay, so there's a Google Assistant as well. And we can see what our recent calls made. We can go to our Google Maps. We have Google Play Books, Google Play Music, Telegram, Google Podcasts. And you can return to sync. Okay, so both um, the Android Auto as well as Apple CarPlay are available on the Ford Sync and um, that's how both of them work. So we've gone through the entire car and there's lots of things that I like. The keyless start, the LED DRL headlamps, the safety, the ISOFIX, it's got seven airbags right around but there's something that just fell short which was the boot I've been spoiled with the big boots I like big boots and I cannot lie <laughs> and for me personally the boot was a bit small but for a young family the boot is perfect as we saw in the back there's quite a lot of boot space 333 liters so it's it's perfect for a small family but let's let's rate it now isa tell us your rating of the ford echo sport what do you think mm. it's nice okay and how many uh how many stars do you give it how many hearts do you give it how many hearts do you give it 10 hearts do you give it five hearts how many hearts Three hearts. Out of five. Okay, that's th is it three out of three or three out of five? Three. Three out of three. <laughs> so Isa gives it ten out of ten then. We've got um, something that Isa show us what you've got here. Chassis. No? This here. Barry. Yeah. He's got a little toy car in a compartment. As you can see, he's already dirtied up his side, so he's felt right at home. Plus, he's put his um, toy in a compartment where, uh, as Yad says, I would put snacks. <laughs> so he's made himself feel at home. Okay, now we're going to go on to Nabia's review. So, Nabia, you've also had some time in the Ford EcoSport. What is your feelings and what do you think of the Ford EcoSport? I think it's absolutely amazing. I love it. Um, I like the color. This particular car has a lightning blue color. And it just, as soon as you walk towards it, every time you walk towards it, every time I walk towards it actually, um, you can't help but smile because it just brightens up my mood and brightens up my day. <laughs> and. Um, Overall, this car is quite comfortable. I would, I, I like it. It's, you know, every time I sit in it, I want to feel like I'm, I feel like I'm going on holiday or I want to go on holiday. And. And? <laughs> I want to go on holiday right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Before we get to the holiday, how many hearts do you give it? Can I rate it out of five? 
You can rate it out of anything. Mm-hmm. Isa rated it out of three out of three. <laughs> so what's your rating? I give it a four out of five. Four out of five. The only thing that I had a problem with was the same thing as you with the boot being uh, slightly smaller and I'm used to... No, actually, it's not smaller. It's quite a, a good size for this SUV. But because we've been spoiled with, I think, a 440 liter and I have this habit of just throwing um, maybe bags and jackets. Anything. And food. Ah, not always food. Not always. Maybe some jackets and, you know, cars. scarves and stuff like that. And Isa's cars. <laughs> so, I have this habit of not... Oh, and his scooter, sorry. Oh, and his scooter we carry around all the time. So, um... I have this habit of just throwing it in and not organizing it neatly because we've we've been spoiled with this. So that's a bit of something to get used to. Also the the opening of the boot instead of it going up because with Ziad I've learned by Ziad actually to uh, reverse park whenever I go somewhere. So when you reverse into a parking then um, you you open the door. Actually, I don't know how. I know this park assist will help with um, how far back to go. It's just a matter of things to get used to. <laughs> um. You said you gave your review already. He's uh, <laughs> he's hijacking my my time. Okay. Okay. So so was, uh, so you said four out of five. Four out of five. The only thing is things to get used to. It's not. You know, like anything wrong. It's just because we had uh, experiences and being spoiled for for choice of uh, only one thing. It's only the boot and the, the t- t- tailgate or swing gate. Sorry. Swing gate. So it's only the getting used to of that. Other than that, I honestly do like it. Um, I feel very comfortable in it. This particular color is awesome. It just brings a smile to your face and. Can I? Can we go on holiday now? Yes, we can, definitely. But first, I need to give my final words okay. of wisdom. Um, so, as we said and we discussed now, the uh, boot was something that we not, well, not, we just have to get used to it. But um, that shouldn't um, change our decision. Or our rating rather I mean there's things that I would like I'd like Xenons I'd like a sunroof um, I'd like a bigger boot but the overall car is a nice family startup car it's got all the features it's got um, powerful engine it's got the safety features as well so I'm actually gonna give it a 5 out of 5 also the price range the price is very affordable the ambiente 1.5 liter starts at 200 about 255,000 and this six uh, speed automatic titanium model is just over 350,000 for 350,000 rand for all the features that it has um, I definitely get one so I'm giving it a 5 out of 5 Thank you, I'm Ziad from I and I Love ZA.